Hey, scholars! Professor Ginger and Axel are here to help teach us about forces and motion. And today we're going to focus on pushes and pulls. A push is a force. A pull is a force. A force can make something move. A force can make something stop. And a force can make something change direction. Oh yeah, thanks Axel. A force can also change the speed of something by making it go faster or by slowing it down. Let's find some more examples of pushes and pulls. Axel, Ginger, come back! Oh, what are those pets up to now? Oh my gosh, what are you guys doing? Axel, why are you in a toy stroller? Oh, I see. You can push a stroller to make it move. Come on guys, quit being silly. Let's go continue making our video. All right, scholars, those pets are being silly. Let's find some more examples of... No, Ginger! No, don't push them for real. Ginger, no, you're going too fast. Oh, scholars, hold on, I gotta go stop them. Oh, too late. Oh, no. I knew that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Ginger, you pushed Axel too hard. You made him go too fast and he fell out of the stroller. Axel, are you okay? Oh, that's good. Come on, I'll help you up. Let's find some more examples of pushes and pulls. Good job, Axel. Scholars, Axel found a door and we can use a push force or a pull force to move that door. Axel, why don't you show us how? Look, scholars, Axel used a push force to move the door so he could get out. Okay, Axel, now show us a pull force using that door. Good job, Axel. Did you see that, scholars? He used his paw to pull the door toward him so he could go in. Way to go! Check it out, Ginger, a train's coming. What force do you think moves the train. This train is using a pull force. Notice how the engines on the front are being used to pull the rest of the train cars. Whew, we're just about at the end of this train. This train does not have an engine at the back pushing it. This train was only using a pull force. Now check out this train. It had engines in the front to pull it, but check out the back. It also has engines in the back that can push it. Come on, Ginger, let's go find some more examples of pushes and pulls. All right, scholars, Professor Ginger wanted to demonstrate a force that helps move you down the slide. Come on, Ginger. All right, scholars, when you go down a slide or slide down a pole or jump up and then come back down, there's an invisible force that pulls you back down to the ground. Do you know what that's called? Yeah, gravity, good job. Come on, Ginger, let's go find some more examples of pushes and pulls. Hey, Ginger, what are you doing? Oh, I see, you found something we can move with a push force. Are you gonna push that cart all around the store? All right, come on, but be careful. Careful now, Ginger, steer the cart. No, 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 push it the other way, whoa. Watch where you're going! Oh man, Ginger, you crashed the cart so hard into the shelf that it knocked all the toys down. Are you okay? Come on, let's pick up this mess and then why don't we go home to find more examples of pushes and pulls. Hey Ginger, check it out. I can use a push to move a skateboard. Now watch what happens when I use a little push. My skateboard didn't move very fast and it didn't go very far. What do you think will happen if I give it a big push? Let's see if you're right. My skateboard moved faster and farther. 
What's that, Ginger? You know how to use a pole to make a skateboard move? How? Grab your leash. Okay. Okay, Ginger. I grabbed your leash. How are you going to use a pole to make a skateboard go? Hold on, what do you mean? Whoa, Ginger, you're going too fast. Oh, oh, Ginger, maybe we should find one more safe example of a push our pole. Come on. All right, Ginger, I have a great idea of an example we can use to show how a force can move something. I'm gonna put a ball on top of that tee right there and then use this bat to hit the ball and make it move. You wanna see the bat? Okay. Okay, scholars, I guess Ginger's gonna hit the ball to make it move. Let's go. Okay, Ginger, start with a little force or a little swing to see what happens. Good hit, Ginger. All right, what I want you to do now is use a bigger force or a bigger swing. Okay, scholars, what do you think will happen with the ball when Ginger gives it a bigger push or a bigger swing? Let's see if you're right. All right, Ginger, use a big force or a big swing to see what happens. Whoa, Ginger, you hit the ball so hard it went over the fence. Way to go. Hey, were you right, scholars? Good job. Great job hitting that ball, Ginger. All right, scholars, when Ginger used that orange bat to hit that yellow ball, was she using a push force or a pull force? <laughs> Good job. She was using a push force. All right, Ginger, come on. Let's finish our video. Thanks, Professor Ginger. Thanks, Axel, for helping make our forces video on pushes and pulls. We found a lot of examples of pushes and pulls. Wait, what, Ginger? You can make me move without touching me? How? No, not again, Ginger. Don't chase me. Ginger! Watch out, Ginger, you're gonna hit the camera!